uh, dear uh, friends, colleagues, uh, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, whenever you are, I greet you with your local greeting. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bonjour, bonsoir, bon matin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wish you are living happily, prosperous, peaceful life, especially during this very difficult time of observing the many, many armed conflicts globally and the impact of climate change on the local communities, as well as the siege of COVID, which is actually crippling the travel and the movement of people from different cities, different towns, different villages, and different countries to another. Today is our 11th episode of uh, Fat Father 5 to 5. And today I'm going to talk about uh, my freedom with 20 denotations. And before we start explaining the image of this uh, drawing, which I drew last week. And the uh, talk itself, I would like to thank uh, uh, Sister Aya Abu Zainab for the uh, PowerPoint presentation. I will explain the drawing later on. Uh, I started thinking about this talk uh, last week when I had a discussion with a colleague of mine. His name is Osama Muhammad, very old colleague and friend of mine. And we're talking about different things. He's very specializing in economy, in trade, industry, and in social work as well. And while I was talking to him, he mentioned something about liberty or freedom. And they said there's too many different kinds of freedom that we can enjoy. His words ignited my thoughts and let me to write what I'm talking about to you today. Added to that is two experiences I realized. This was on 22nd of July uh, last week. A young man who was released from detention or from imprisonment, who have no guilt, no, he was not charged with anything, but he was put in detention unjustly for three years. Then when he was released, he put under house arrest for another three years. As a young man or a young woman who lose the, the last six years of his life, penalized for a crime he never commit or for anything, there was nothing wrong he did and no charges against him. I found him posting this post on his Facebook page. So I'm reading what he wrote. He said, freedom is not about being outside the prison or the country. Freedom is the freedom of the whole country or even at least of one generation. Freedom, whether we like it or not, there are a lot of people, a lot of individuals, are prisoners and were imprisoned inside their minds. A lot of people are imprisoned, becoming prisoners inside their minds. Such people will never become free because they are imprisoning themselves. He added, calling for freedom for his cellmates in the prison, colleagues in the prison, and country and life. This was a young man who lost six years of his life imprisonment. I was under house arrest at his home or inside the prison for no charge, for no, for no a crime he committed. 
Then few days later on, I had a phone call from one of my friends who told me that there's somebody arriving. He was telling me a story about someone who was running away from his own country He's in the early 30s because he had been chased by the security forces in his own country. And he left the country, of course, crossing the Mediterranean Sea, of course, went to Greece, to Europe, till he arrived to France using boats, uh, containers, uh, cars, walking in the jungle. And in France, he was chased by the police and he was jumping from a train to a train. He fell down underneath the wheels of the train and he lost his right leg. So losing his right leg was the price of his freedom. Those people who are coming from Africa or Asia to Europe, they are thinking that they are coming to the land of honey, the land of milk, of milk, the land of prosperity. They don't know how difficult life is here. And how time, how, how, how some time is very hard and hard such a life. Well, these three, two stories with a discussion with my colleague, my friend Osama, let me to write this. This has nothing to do with what's happening in Tunisia. Because also, uh, I think this week, one of my colleagues, a young professor, he called me because when I posted an image of the late uh, president of Sudan, Field Marshal Abdurrahman Swarad Dahab, when I was visiting him in his house, you know that Facebook keeps sending you old stories. This was on Monday, I think. Uh, and he was telling me, if this is because uh, what's happening to me, I said, I don't know, I told them I don't know what's happening in Tunisia. But anyway, when I realized there's something there, I am praying for the peace, safety, tranquility for the people of Tunisia, for Tunisia. Tunisia is a very dear country, not only to myself, to humanity, to the whole world. Tunisia has a great contribution for civilizations, culture, values, philosophy of humanity. Tunisia, Tunisia is the land, or was the land, is the land of Ibn Khaldun, the founder of sociology. And a lot. Carthage, the kingdom of Carthage. When you look at the history of Tunisia, we will keep praying for Tunisia to be in a very peaceful situation, inshallah. Let us talk about what the discussion between me and my colleague Osama brought. 20 denotation, which I'm going to discuss the 20 denotation, which the different kinds of freedom. How can I see freedom as a feeling, as an individual? Sometimes people were telling me, why don't you keep referring to a lot of uh, terminologies or philosophers or sociologists who wrote about it? I said, this is good, but not good enough for me. I encourage young people to start to think logically and they eloquently express themselves on what they feel about a subject. And in my condition, I have a nearly 40 years history of social and humanitarian work, traveling to as many countries as you want. So I start to develop my own ideas, philosophy, and thoughts. That's why I'm reflecting my feeling towards what I believe in. Freedom for me is the ability of you and me as individuals to do what we want. No restriction. 
it's a personal safety for you and me when we talk to somebody that we don't know. Should not be afraid that he becomes a security man, security woman, and from the intelligence or from special forces or spy. It's a calmness when making social change. If anyone, any community, any people would like to make social friends, positive social change in the countries, they should not be afraid to do it. They should be calm because they are free to do that and the country is enjoying freedom for that. Number four is our ability to become productive. When you are free, you'll be able to become productive. When you are free, you'll be able to become innovative. When you are free, you're able to come pioneering. Productivity, pioneering, and innovation is the outcome of being actually free. It is the best, could be the only way to build your society or you build your renaissance in the country or to build your civilization. Free people can build society, renaissance and civilizations. It's a psychological comfort where serenity, where and when, and tranquility, where and when, when we live in a free country, and you feel this kind of psychological comfort, serenity, and tranquility when you are living in a free country. You feel that you are safe and you have a peace of mind. Number seven, it is a practical affiliation to the country. I'm related to this land, to this culture, to this history, this geography, to this mountain. That's why it's a practical affiliation to a country respecting the dignity of whom? Of every citizen. Respecting the dignity of every citizen. It's the power of eloquence, the logic of an argument, the evidence-based knowledge. When you express yourself in a free country, when you are free, you express it eloquently. When you argue, you argue with logic. And when you put your knowledge, you make it evidence-based. This is because you are free. You can actually comprehend the knowledge and change it to your discussion. Also freedom, as I can see it, I feel it, and they live it. When you are not afraid to fail, if you are in university and you tried experiments 100 times, 1,000 times, keep going, keep going. Nobody's going to sack you. Or if you do a mistake, nobody will sack you from your job. It's the insistence of trying. Keep trying. Don't stop. And keep telling you, young people in their university, in their schools, in any job, keep trying. Don't stop till you succeed. This is my feeling of how I can see freedom after I discussed it with my colleague, Osama. It's when I have the right to defend my country, my culture, my history, my value. I'm free. Not to be called radical, extremist, confrontational, terrorist, like nowadays classifying people. It is the honor. Gained by every citizen. How? Through not being afraid of the unseen, of the unexpected. There's nothing unseen for a citizen live in a free country, because it goes by the law, it goes by the book. There's nothing there for citizens who are living in a country governed by law and order. And everybody is following law and order. Number 13 is applying morality 
and accountability, not only on a certain group, but to everybody, from the king and the queen and the prince and princesses and the president and the prime minister and the ministers, to the commoners. And also applying questioning, interrogation, scrutiny on everybody for the sake of trying to help develop the country. Nobody above the law. Nobody should be excluded from being asked, interrogated, scrutinized because of something he's done or something she has done. Number 15, it is the giving, it's the up, utmost giving, the, the giving summit. It is a giving summit and sacrifices by every citizen. And I mentioned this in the Arabic talk a few days back, when the Prophet ﷺ was trying to raise funds to support his uh, people in Mecca and support his mission, his message, Abu Bakr Anhu, brought all his wealth. Omar brought half of his wealth. This is the giving summit, the utmost giving of the individual in love and respect and sacrifice to his own, our own country. It is a real expression of love. How I love my country, I give my country what I have. And how my country loves me, she gives me what it has. She gives me the freedom, the tranquility, the peace of mind, as well as the safety. But sometimes the state in the country or the government in the country become an expelling force to expel the elite, the educated, the change maker outside the country, unfortunately. Number 17, it is the builder, the builder of trust, honesty, and social trust. Once you feel you are free, you trust everybody around you, you become very honest because you have to say the truth. Nobody is going to charge you or to penalize you of saying the truth. And you have to become transparent on yourself and other people in the country. It's building and empowering tools of for whom? For young people, male and female. As well as enabling them to become the future leaders. In a lot of countries nowadays, from the average age, particularly in the South and the East, the average age of their uh, leadership is in the 70s, unfortunately. It is the building and empowering tools of young people, as well as the enabling strength of creating the future leadership. It is the enabling power of creating systems. This freedom will make you able to create a system, enabling you to defend your homeland, to develop your homeland, and take your homeland from a certain category or level to another category. Number, three, number uh, 20, it is the soul of the life of the homeland, the life of the hearts of societies, the citizens' success guide, and the future building system. These four components summarize the 20 points which, um, which I wrote about being ignited by my colleague or my friend, Sam, when he told me that there's different kinds of freedom that we need to understand. The soul of the life of the homeland, the life of the hearts of the societies, the citizen success guide, and the future building system.
This is how can I see freedom, as I said, or the 20 kinds of freedom. But you can make them 20, 30, 40, it's entirely up to you, five or six or seven, something, it's optional. It's nothing is Quran or Bible. Before I go to say how to earn your freedom or to protect your freedom, let me just explain the drawing, which also has nothing to do with what's happening in Tunisia. May Allah make it safe, country, more peaceful and prosperous country, as we love Tunisia. I drew this image on the 23rd or on 24th of July, about four days ago. The image of a woman, I always refer to a society, to a community, to a country as a woman, because she is uh, the attracting, attractive power for the community. And when you look at the face and the body built of the woman, it does not relate itself to one country, not to Egypt, not to Saudi Arabia, not to others. It relates itself to become maybe a Bedouin woman, farming woman, woman living in the mountains, strong, determined, firm, knows what she wants, and very powerful from the eyes she has. This woman is a society, stood up to break all the chains, 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 around her neck and her body, chains of oppression, chains of injustice, and faced the tyranny of the brutal dictatorship regimes. The dictatorship regime, the brutal dictatorship regime was trying to kill her by throwing an arrow in her heart. Her heart became bleeding. and want to cut her left hand. Her left hand became bleeding. Look at the dress, has a lot of batches, but with one hand, which is the right hand, she was protecting the community behind her. And with the left hand, she was fighting the brutal regime in her own country. When you look at that, and you see that she did not kneel down for such brutality, and the blood came out from her heart and from her arm, is watering the land, which make it more green and more fruitful. This like the very attractive, attracting, powerful character in society. This is about, she stood up for the freedom, not for her freedom, but for her actually community's freedom. If you look at the cover, the hair cover or the head cover, you found the, left, the, the, the right part of it is gray. It's, it represents the past. Okay? But the left hand part of the head cover is gold, reflecting the victory. It comes from the left hand side of the body and the arm are bleeding. So the gold is going to cover all her body because she is standing very firm to protect her society, community, her country, and let them to earn their freedom. To make people happy, I have to go to get some more definition from the dictionary. Freedom is the ability of the individual like you and myself, without any condition, pressure, or interference to what? To make their own decisions or choose their direction voluntarily from amongst many, many choices. Also, it is the personal ability to deal with different issues. Also, it's making you to be free from all restrictions, disabling you or disabling your productivity. Any restriction will frighten you and will stop you and will make you less productive or non-productive. 
these are what I said before, this 20, this is how I can see freedom, but the different types of freedom, which have been I wrote uh, in a, uh, a, a response for the discussion with my friend Osama, is coming here, 21 types. You have 20 types of how can I see freedom and 21 types of freedom. Who are they? Personal freedom, I feel personally that I'm free and there's some inner feeling. Social freedom for the society, for the community, for the nation, for everybody. Free to talk, to discuss, to organize things. Economical, the economy is not controlled by one group, by one company, by one individual, but each individual is contributing to the buildup of the formal and to the informal economy of the country. Intellectual, nobody can restrict my intellectual ability to produce ideas and thoughts. Political, we are, very, we are free to choose our political stand and to follow and join any political party. A culture, this is my culture, the culture of my family, my society, my country, I'm free. Research, I'm very, 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 I'm free to make a research that they want. Not to be told not to do touch this area, which could be my speciality. Educational, I'm free to choose the syllabus, the subject, the speciality, the school, the university, the institute. As the Azhar in the good old days taught, his students, how to become free to learn knowledge by making this the sheikh of the pillar. Many pillars in Al-Azhar Mosque in Cairo. And uh, the, the sheikh of the pillar used to sit next to one pillar and discuss one subject with the students. And the student go to the mosque to find maybe after Fajr prayer or before Zohar prayer or at Zohar prayer or after a Zohar at the Asr and Maghrib, be 10 or 20 or 15 sheikhs, each one of them leading to one of the pillars. Each one of them is teaching a different subject. So the, 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 the student like you and me used to go to attend the teaching of this sheikh was discussing subject A or subject B or subject C or so at his own time, at uh, the, the listening to the, 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 the sheikh that they used to like, and actually at the time that they like. Okay. Free to choose your faith. Allah said, let people to believe in what they want to believe. This in their life, when they come to see me, I'll be judging them. It's not you. The movement between uh, villages, the free movement between villages, towns, cities, uh, districts, governors, inside the country. Nobody should stop you as a security officer. Defending or protecting your country, you are free because I love my country. I can stand up and die for defending my country. Could give me the right to be offensive when somebody attacking my country. My affiliation to my country, I'm free. I'm free to be affiliated to this certain religious group or political group or theological group or philosophical group, or intellectual group. My, ex my existence, I'm free to exist. So I need things to support my existence in my own society. My sentimental feeling towards others, what I love and what I don't love, about my feeling, My philosophical understanding and direction, I'm free to follow this philosopher, 
Aristotle, Ibn Khaldun, and others, or others. My conscience, consciousness. Yes, you cannot come and look at my heart. Some security officer will tell you, I know what you are thinking about. How on earth? Even the angels do not know what I'm thinking about. It's only Allah who knows. He knows what the eyes cannot see and what the chest and the body can hide, which is the heart. Dogmatic, my dogma. It's my freedom to follow this belief. How can I look forward to bring my society, my community, my, uh, my race, my faith to a higher level? Forward looking. How can I spread my message? I'm free to spread my message. Nobody can call me names. These 21 types of freedom is the outcome of one sentence mentioned by Osama, the different types of freedom. So as I mentioned before, we had 20, uh, 20 uh, explanation of what freedom is about or how I can see fear. Then we have 21 types of freedom as I mentioned them. But you can, as I said, can have as many as you can or as less as you can. How to obtain freedom for yourself or for your country or for your society? First of all, this is a golden stand or statement. Freedom is not given to you as a gift, as a grant, as an offer from other country or people or say, don't wait for other country to give you freedom. Don't wait for other nation, for other leader to give you freedom. Freedom is earned by lawful procedures through social or societal course of action, correction. In democratic, in democratic countries, there is law and order. So if you want, to change the course of action of the country, you follow the procedures in the country. This is in a democratic country. But if you are living in a brutal dictatorship country, this does not apply. As I mentioned the example a few days ago about the British occupation to India, the battle protest by uh, Mahatma Gandhi, the civil disobedience by Mahatma Gandhi. He said, okay, fine, stop doing anything, sit down, so the British has to, let, to listen to him. This happened also in South Africa against the apartheid regime in South Africa by Nelson Mandela and his people. But unfortunately, the regime changed it into armed conflicts. It was a fight. And we know what happened to Nelson Mandela, put in jail in an island for about 27 years. We're just complaining about some young man put in jail for three years with no reason, with no crime, and under house arrest for three years, six years. But Nelson Mandela was in jail in isolation or in detention in an island in the middle of the ocean for 27 years. So in this kind of uh, control by brutal dictatorship regime, what you need to do is to exactly do what Mahatma Gandhi did. Civil disobedience, peaceful, no confrontation. But what we see nowadays in certain countries, they infiltrate the peaceful demonstrator with, with actually ring leaders, with thugs and with criminal to change it into conflict, whether physical conflict or armed conflicts. Why? Because they want to show the whole world that these peaceful demonstrators are really uh, seeking blood, they are, they are, they are bloodthirsty. 
and they start classifying them as radical or extremist, or at the end of the day, terrorists. And if it was in a Muslim majority country, definitely they will become called a Muslim extremist, Muslim radicals, radical Muslims, and terrorist Muslim group. And this will find a lot of listening ears from states and institutions and individuals who do not want to see your country to become free or to live in democracy. And this will take them from being peaceful demonstrator and to become a protracted armed conflict situation, like what's happening in Syria nowadays, what has been happening in, uh, in Afghanistan, and what's been happening as well as in uh, Syria, Afghanistan, and Somalia. So nobody will give you freedom as a gift. Never, never, never wait for that. Now you have your freedom, how to protect it. We have 16 points to discuss as well. Point number one, you have, you have, you have to, uh, to invest in all different aspects of education. Education that suits the society, and the education that suits the local market, the national market, and the international market. This is number one. You have to invest in building civil society sector, independent civil society sector and civil society organizations. This is number two. You have at the same time to build, to build different platform. For what? To raise the social public awareness. Unfortunately, our problem nowadays, especially in the South and the East, is the public awareness. You have to protect the independence of the state institutions, such as the army, or the military, security, the media, judiciary, uh, legal, religious institution, those has to be independent. If there's any conflict between political parties, those should be independent, take a distance, because it should be guiding and judging and save, uh, saving the safety and of the country itself. Also fighting unemployment. Most of the countries in the South and the East have got very high employment rate could be reaching 40, 50, 60%. And most of those people are employed, most of them are the low educated ones. So what we need to do is to create an employment field to attract and to uh, invite the millions of the uneducated or less educated people to work in it. Like Investing in a low cost uh, community community market community markets, what do you call it? Building local community markets, encouraging and supporting agriculture initiatives and projects, fishing and fish farming, livestock farming, and markets, vocational training, craft work, artisans, facilitating community transportation between towns, villages, and others. So this kind of things will attract millions of the people who are low skilled, less educated to earn their own money and fight unemployment. Fighting different aspects of corruption. Of course, no country on earth having no corruption from the state in America to the weakest country in Africa or in Asia. Different level of corruption. Countries that have system to discover corruption and to make the corrupt accountable to the law, and countries have no infrastructure to discover corruption and make the corrupt accountable as well. Fighting different aspects of corruption, in social life, state, government, and government institution. 
encouraging and supporting all the young people initiatives. It's another category to, to engage them in trying to support their initiatives. Intensifying communication and movement. Yani sometimes you are, you are, you are, you are walking in, in, in the street and this has been mentioned to me by many people. Okay, and look at this, this is my telephone. And you might find yourself when you are walking, walk, walk, walking in the high street of your own country, that somebody come and tap your shoulder and tell you, please sir, give me your telephone. Why? Give me your telephone. I'm a security man. And this started to flick through the pages, look at this, and see some images. He said, oh, you are against the government. Please, sir, come with me and take you to places nobody knows. Even the blue flies might not be able to identify where you have been taken to. This is a proverb in Arabic, the Ban al Azra. Intensifying access and communication and facilitating the movement in the country, encouraging media pluralism. You don't want all the media to be in the hand of one company, one individual. No, it should be independent. Even encourage the alternative media platforms. Fighting and tackling or treating these social manifestations like extremism, exclusion, radicalism, extremism, violence, and terrorism. We have to treat it. How? By making citizens empowerment and declaration or declaring that the real owner of the country is not the president, not the prime minister, not the minister, not the businessman or businesswoman. It is a citizen, himself or herself. So the citizen will be able to stand up fighting radicalism, extremism, terrorism, and fighting exclusion and marginalization. So the real owner of the country is the citizen. Avoid creating security and military solution for social problems. Why you bring the security and military to it? Why? <clears throat> Investing in creating development program where you know the border province provinces, you have to develop them. You have to develop them, invest in them. Involving marginalized, disenfranchised minorities in the process of community building on local national level, you have to, to be more inclusive to bring all the minorities to the table. Also, don't forget the diaspora. If we talk about the African and the Asian and the Arabs, the tens of millions of African, Asian, and Arab living in Europe, live in America, involve them in stabilizing freedom in their own country by Benefiting from them scientifically, technologically or technically, informationally, financially, legally, and make them to be representative of their own country. And in advocacy for the rights of your own people. Number 15, diversification and pluralism of what? Of political parties. We don't want one political party. Our political party to be like uh, Muppets, controlled, like this uh, Muppet show. Pluralism and diversity. And make also independence of the parliamentary institution. Not to be controlled by one man or one group or one political party. Number 16, research. Scientific research and building think tanks, extremely important. These 16 points, you can make them 20, you can make them 15, 
can make the number that you want. It's just my belief, my vision towards how can we protect our freedom. My message to the young people, to all of you, to all of you, what we need today and every day is the full-fledged freedom for our homeland and for the future generation. Freedom for life and for the life of other creations who were suffering from the lack of freedom to or for the human beings. You know why those creations are suffering? Because Allah has created them to serve you as a free man and a free woman. Freedom for the feeling, my feeling. I'm free to feel what I want to feel. Freedom for my emotion, my hopes, my dreams. Nobody can come and tell me, shouldn't dream. Shouldn't have hopes. My thoughts, my visions should be free. Freedom for initiatives and reactions. Freedom for the initiatives and reaction. Those who are unjustly imprisoned behind bars, walling, walling, walling walls between the groans and the flowing streams of blood shed from the souls of every martyr. Those people, I don't know where are they. There's a lot of people in the prison for no crime. They have not been charged for years. Nobody knows what happened to them and their family are still waiting for them. Freedom for the souls and the spirits, the breathing and the sighing. Don't restrict my breathing, my spirit, my souls my sighing. Freedom for the fragrance of remembrance and the aroma of thoughts. Freedom for the philosophies, the opinions, theories, and theses that I want to develop for my own community, for my own country, for my own land. Freedom for the pride of the past, the glamour of the present, and the joy of the future. Freedom for the tears of the eyes, the touch of the hands, and the hiss of the ears. Those have to be free. Gawara. 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 The senses. Freedom for the beating of the heart, the forces of the insight, and the purity of the mind. Freedom from the peace of the psyche, the tranquility of the spirits, and the ease at the heart. Freedom for the fatigue and, cl and clamor, the boredom and hardships, the damage and support. Freedom, 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 because I can't change this and rebuild my own country again. Freedom for the vermin, and commoners, the sick and the consistent, the passion and the ambition. Freedom for all of them. Freedom for the absent and the present people, for the far and for the near, for the living, for the dead, the believers and the disbelievers, the enemies and the friends, the nasty and the dear, the poor and the rich, the slave and the master, the oppressed and the oppressor, the conscious and the wicked, the miserable and the noble, the miser and the generous. Freedom for all of them. For all of them. Freedom for the people of needs, setbacks, pitfalls, having hiccups, and even the people for, for, of, of authority. As Omar was telling uh, Amr ibn As, when his, the son of Amr ibn As was competing with uh, 
Egyptian and the Egyptian defeating him or يعني, and the son of Amr Nas hit him. Umar ibn Khattab uh, said his famous uh, global statement, uh, when did you enslave people and their mothers had born them free? This is the meaning of the freedom. Young people, let us live and die as free. Strive to please our Lord and make his creations happy. Spread our message and accomplish our mission in life as free individuals. Live in our grave yard, stand beneath the hands of our Lord and enter heaven as free individuals. Freedom is Lord's giving. Heavenly bowl, prophetic garment, dogmatic shield, auspicious rank, everlasting eternity, existing brotherhood, and endless steadfastness. Freedom is Lord's giving, number one. Heavenly bowl, number two. Prophetic garment, dogmatic shield, auspicious rank, everlasting eternity, existing brotherhood, endless steadfastness. This is freedom, young men and young women. Dear my brothers and sisters, please believe that the free individuals never die. And inshallah, you will never die because you are free people. Your life is death and your death is life. Your life is death for what? For injustice? Death for injustice and darkness, ignorance and unawareness, corruption and corrupt, reliance or dependency and submissiveness, humiliation and shame, degradation and disgrace, tyranny and despotism, disbelief in the merciful and the companionship in Lucifer. This is, this is what I mean. Your life is this for this philosophy of thinking. Death for the ideology of those who displaced people, destroyed their homelands. The ideology of those who made our livers fail, our livers to fail because of the tyranny, covered who made our livers to fail because of their tyranny, made the dreams and the hopes of children, orphans and widows to flow, to flow in vain as a stream of mirage. This to the ideology of the ideology of those who displaced people, destroyed their homeland. The ideology of this, of those who made our livers to fail, our hearts to fail because of their tyranny. And those, the ideology of those who made the dreams and hopes of children, orphans and widows to flow in vain as a stream a mirage. This to the ideology of those who have no, of no what? No beating hearts, realizing hearing, conscious minds, awakening conscious, feeling sensations, thankful tongues, daily remembrance, awakening what? The dead souls and the feeling, and feeling the inner insight of the chains of stone, wicked, damned, cursed demon. This to the ideology of those who have no beating hearts, realizing, hearing, conscious minds, awakening consciousness, feeling sensation, thankful tongues, 
the remembrance, awakening the dead souls and feeling the inner insight from the chains and the freeing, not, not feeling, sorry, and the freeing the inner insight from the change of stone, wicked, damned, cursed demon. You have to free your soul from them, from the demon, it says. Your death gives life to whom? To the life that awakens the minds and the heart, the consciousness and the insight, the spirit and the souls, the belief and the certainty, the guidelines and the guidance, the cognition and knowledge, the efforts and drudgery, the endeavor and strive, justice and uprightness, the mercy and forgiveness, the action and per perseverance, the revamping and the innovation, creativity and the innovation, construction and development, living without hardship and thanking Allah or better or worse. This is my death, your death will give life to those ideology. If you love, to live this existing, eternal, endless life, what to do? You have to create glory for those who will follow you, finish the work of those who were before you, leave the knowledge for people who want to learn from you, become assets to those who are with you, and don't hate those who oppressed you. Injustice is hatred. Hatred is delusion. Delusion is seductiveness. Seductiveness creates the bad soul that commands us to do evil actions. Evil actions that, that, that do not protect us Injustices that do not save us and poverty that will never feed our hunger or quench our thirst. Young people, don't fall in these traps. Please, young people, you have to hate injustice that was decorating the unjust people and pray for their guidance, forgiveness, and mercy. Some of them might become more just than all of us, more keen to help others than us, more soft-hearted and ascetic slaves of Allah, the grateful, than us. You don't know you're going to change. Dear young people, you were not created to die. You were not descended into the heaven of earth to live. You were not giving provision to be rich. You were not gaining booty to become happy. You were not becoming believers to, save, to be saved from hell and enjoy heaven. But you were created to give life back to whom? to the corners of life. You were dwelt earth to reassure all creations that you are there as a custodian. You were giving provisions to make the commoners richer. You were gaining the booty to prevent harm affecting the oblivious and the vigilant. You were made believers to surrender your consciousness, mind, heart, and senses to the forgiver, the benefactor, and you're, you were promised to enter heaven, inshallah, for what? For the look, the view, the satisfaction, and the companionship under the shade of the throne of the merciful. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Please, young people, believe that, inshallah, you will never die. 
and you will live forever if you promise Allah, the Creator, what? That you will revamp the hearts of the poor and the needy. Revamp the hearts of the poor and needy. If your message is from, you make a message from the guidance of the messages of the messengers of Allah. Your prophecies from the inspiration of the prophecies of Allah's prophets. Your merit is from the substance of the ascetic ones. And your mercy is from the most merciful to his slave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are not going to die, young people, inshallah, if you keep your promise, pursue the pathway of the knowers of Allah, followed the reasonableness of the rightly guided people, guided by the guidance of the prophets and messengers of Allah, the life of this world is nothing but the enjoyment of vanity. For whom? For the wanderers and the renegades. From the belief, from the, the wanderers and the renegades from their belief. But the year after, or the akhirah, is the joy of the lovers, the gloating of the patient, the happiness of the tortured, the hope of those who are following the roots of the messengers of Allah. Peace be, peace and peace be of Allah upon all of them. Hoping to look at what? At the beauty of his face. I take this opportunity to thank you very much for being patient to listen to my English talk about my freedom 20 denotation. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your patience. And I hope that you will do far more better than myself. And you understand, we understand our roles in life and how should we live this life to prepare it as a farmyard for the life to come. Feel free and make your country free, inshallah. And do have no relationship to what's happening in certain Arab countries. May Allah bless you. Wa ashkurkum jamia. I thank all of you, wherever you are, wherever you are. And God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.